You got your coffee going and you can get your appetite going as well. This morning we are checking in with some of the top chefs in town at Metropolitan Cooking DC. Holly has more from the Washington Convention Center. All right, guys, so if you haven't made your plans for the weekend yet, then this is where you need to be. The convention center is having the ninth annual Metropolitan Cooking and Entertaining Show, as you said. And you know what? When you come, here's the thing. You don't have to plan to go eat anywhere because there's plenty of good eating here. They're having a grand tasting pavilion. It's put on by the Restaurant Association of Metropolitan Washington. So we thought it would be fun to kind of see what they'll be serving up. This is just a sampling, by the way. But we're going to start with some good organic burgers. No better way to start than that. This is Rick Altizer. He's the CEO of Elevation Burger. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning to you. All right, so what are you guys going to be doing in the tasting pavilion? Grass-fed organic hamburgers. Simple. There you go. The best enough. tasting burgers. Voted number one burger in Northern Virginia. Got about a dozen restaurants out around Northern Virginia and Maryland. And here we have some of our stars, the food. We have our uh, Elevation Burger here, which is our classic signature organic grass-fed beef with our original toppings, no cheese. Mm. That looks pretty tasty. It looks pretty tasty. I think this I can eat some of that. This is our barbecue cheddar uh, burger, Ooh. which is also organic. That's six <laughs> six months aged cheddar. Do you find that people really are going for the organic, like they're requesting that? Our organic beef is very popular with our customers. We also have options for uh, vegans and vegetarians. This is the uh, vegetarian patty here. Mm -hmm. And we also have uh, what we have here is a half the gilt or an, uh, actually a, a veggie two patty, which is vegan. So that we've got options for everybody. So we have great organic grass fed beef. And then if you're in the CrossFit paleo crowd, which you might be, right. uh, you Thank can you get for it, saying that. You can get no. it lettuce wrap. So we have <laughs> a lettuce wrap. All of our Look, burgers all lettuce wrap. All of this goodness is here, and I respect all those people that want to eat really great, but I'm going for this one right here. Go for the bar. I'm taking bacon this one, cheddar. and I'm going to wash it down with some good Italian food. Thank you awesome. so much, because that's what they've got at Carmine's. Hi, and this is Glenn Rolnick. He is the corporate chef. Came in from New York for this, Yes, right? I did, sure. All right, so what are you going to be cooking up at the Tasting um, Pavilion? Carmine's is putting out some stuffed mushrooms. We have chicken sausage, broccoli rob, smoked mozzarella, a beautiful sausage. We'll be here Saturday. We'll be here Sunday. On Saturday, we're going to be promoting our new cookbook that just came out, Carmine oh. Celebrates, which I was the author on here and co-author. So we, we have all, over 100 beautiful recipes from Carmine's here, but we'll be here Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so if you're going to give me one tip yes. on cooking Italian food, what yes. is it? Um, don't overcook. Really? Yeah, al dente. don't overcook it. Yeah, al dente and crispy and flavorful. Is this mine? Yeah, that's yours to try. Okay, right. Sure. Take that. I'm going to take a cookbook. Yeah, please. And guess what? I'm going to get some even more goods. Another cookbook, because that's where my next guest comes in. This is Nevin Martell. He is the author of It's So Good. You're going to be at the cookbook pavilion. I am. I'm doing a presentation tomorrow on how parents can cook with their little chefs. Okay, I'm very interested in this. I have an almost three-year-old. Okay. So give me the lowdown on what this is going to tell me. This is 100 recipes. Easy, quick, very fun for kids and their parents. And, uh, it, you know, people, I think, have a little worry about cooking with their kids. Yeah. But actually, it's really, you know, put them to work, have them mashing, have them using a little plastic knife, cut some stuff up, have them mixing together with their hands. And get Don't, over the mess. You will have a mess. That's, that's what I had to do. Guaranteed. I just had to, you know, in the words of Elsa, let it go and just <laughs> let my kitchen be a mess. That's really awesome though. And you're also a, a very well-known food writer. And so when you, if you were going to write about this show, what would you say? I would say, first of all, I want a bite of everything <laughs> that you have. And I'm so glad you brought burgers for breakfast. Um, but what I would say is this is a great place to come and discover some great restaurants in the area and get some great tips from not just me but there's some other fantastic food writers and uh, cookbook authors appearing all right yeah. Ooh. guess i'll have to just eat with my fingers okay by me so look this is just a small little um grab bag of goodies i got in the three and a half minutes that i was here imagine what can happen for you if you come out this weekend the show is saturday and sunday get your tickets now bon appetit she better hold on to that uh, <laughs> bacon cheddar burger pretty tight because if that gets anywhere close, it's going to disappear. Gone. Still ahead in the next hour, trailer trouble. We're not talking about the kind you go camping in either. Movie trailers. Why so many moviegoers say those sneak peeks, they stink. You didn't want to say suck? Nah, I didn't. <laughs> you can say it. They suck. There you go. I love the trailers. It's, it's my too favorite many, part. Don't you think? Nope. All right, we'll talk about it coming up.